And can you move this arm over a little towards the kitchen? The arm part. Not the hand part, the arm part. Yeah. The, yeah. And, and now the hand, just a little. Okay. wonder why I can't hear but open our mouths and sing to God our Savior. Hallelujah to you. Amen. Amen. Did you want to start? Let us gather ourselves together as we begin our service this morning on this day, which is the Bethel Choir Anniversary Day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah this morning. Amen. So let us stand as we read the gathering words together. Amen. Are you looking for the joy that completes your life? Are you hoping for the love that makes a difference and gives you a great purpose? Then welcome to the house of God. Welcome to the love of God. Amen. Amen. Let us continue with our call to worship. Sing to the Lord a new song, a song of hope and rejoicing. God has remembered God's faithful ones. God has poured blessing upon blessing upon us. Praise the Lord, all the earth. Shout your praise. Rejoice, your God is truly with us. Amen. Amen. Let us continue to remain standing to sing our opening hymn, All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name.
you may be seated. Amen. Let us read the opening prayer together. God of song and marbles, old and new, your powerful love for this world continues to astound us. In these last days of Easter, we gather to recall the love that brought Jesus into this world and into our lives as Savior, friend, and brother. We thank you for welcoming us into your household and for thrusting with marvelous work to draw all people into spacious home of your love. Amen. Amen. Amen this morning. Praise God. It is time for us to have our prayer concerns. You can lift them up this morning. So let us do so at this time. Amen. We continue to pray for our sick and shut in and all the members of the church that are ill. We ask God to reach out to them, touch them, let them know that he is still with them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Other concerns? Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We continue to pray for Brother Rudolph, Sister Jackie, Brother Holder, Sister Gary, all those that cannot even move for themselves. And Lord, in your mercy, hear mercy, hear our prayers. Are there any other prayers? Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Let us pray. Amen. Most gracious and everlasting God, we come before you this day to rejoice on this choir anniversary. Amen. We come, oh God, to say thank you for bringing us through this week, for allowing us to live to see another month in the year. Amen. God, we say thank you. Oh, Father, you have heard the prayer concerns and the requests, God. We're lifting up all the members that are sick and shut in. A special prayer for Sister Jackie and Brother Rudolph. We ask that you continue to touch Sister Gary and Brother Holden, as well as uh, Sister Harris. Oh, God, we pray that your healing touch and virtues will touch them from the crowns of their head to the soles of their feet. Amen. Loving God, we're asking for peace in this world. We're praying for the conflict that is ongoing between Russia and Ukraine and Israel and Palestine. We're praying, oh God, that they be able to reconcile the differences that they have, that they be able to have unity, oh God. Oh God, bring peace over that area and bring peace right here in our communities. We're lifting up the colleges and the universities, oh God, with their conflict and strife that is happening because of the war. And so, God, we turn it all to you. We turn everything over to you. 
knowing that you will work it out for the good for them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Loving God, we pray for the homeless men and women, the, the men that are on the streets right now, the ones across the street in the shelter. Yes. We're lifting them up who sits right now, right there, seeking food, seeking shelter, seeking clothing. We're praying, oh God, that they get the aid that they need during their difficult time. We're praying for the children who lost their mothers and fathers, Father. We're praying for them who have no place as well to live. Oh God, by your mercy, oh God, we pray that you be able to provide for them. Amen. And so, Lord God, once again, as we are here to rejoice and celebrate on this day, help us, oh God, to rejoice in you. We pray that you touch the service from the top and to the bottom. Amen. Yeah, your Holy Spirit flow and move in this place. Amen. Those who are going to come and render selection, God, we ask that you touch their voices, God. Yes. so that they can sing melodiously to you. Yes. So Lord God, we ask that you have thine own way in this place. Be with us, oh God, and help us, oh God, to feel your presence, so that when everything is done and said, you get the utmost honor, glory, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome you here, the, you here this morning, all of Beth, the pastor and I, we welcome you here, welcome you this morning to be with us. Praise God, be with me, Jesus. Yes. Amen. We welcome those on Zoom this morning. We hope that the words and the songs that you hear really stir up the Lord in your souls. Even though you are not with us, let us feel that feeling through osmosis from you. We ask this of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We would like to welcome any visitors with us this morning. You stand and give us your name. Amen. 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 Uh, yes. Amen. 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 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. 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 Well, we thank our visitors for being with us this morning, but they are children of God, and now they are children of Bethel. Amen. Amen. Because they are here with us this morning. Praise the Lord. Yes, yes. And again, we thank the ones that have been on, on Zoom. We thank you for being here. And if there's any first time visitors on Zoom, we welcome you as well. And let the Lord be with you in your spirit this morning and let him anoint your soul. Amen. 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 We'll just say, have our brief announcements right now. As we go, we remember our sick and shut in. And the numbers are here in the back. And if you don't have a number you want to call, please ask me, uh, the pastor and we will be happy to give it to you. Bible study is on Tuesday evening at seven, May 7th at 8 p.m. And we are studying the Psalms right now. We're on Psalm 21 and 22. Please join us and the numbers are there for you to dial. Today, even though it's listed, it is Bethel United Methodist Church Choir Anniversary. Hey, hip, hip, amen, 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 amen. amen. And we are asking each member uh, to for a donation of $60 in honor of our choir anniversary. And the lunch will be served in the fellowship hall downstairs. Amen. Amen. And May 12th is Bethel United Methodist Mother's Day worship service at 10 a.m. And Sister mm -hmm. Vanessa Wright will be the speaker for Mother's Day. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Let, Amen. let us come out and support our sister. Amen. She always have a marvelous and precious word from our Lord and Savior to bring to us. Amen. Amen. On Sunday, May 19th, Pentecost Sunday, Reverend George Hagler III will be the guest speaker. You know, so let us support these speakers as they come forth because they are working for our Lord and Savior, giving us the opportunity to hear what God has to say to us. And we thank everyone for their continued giving and support that you're doing. And I know that God thanks you. And you can also send uh, your offerings to Sister Frances Langley at 286 Albany Avenue, 11213, and through electronically via Zelle. And more than that, we would like to see your presence here in the church to give it presently. Amen. Word of the week, as the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. John, the 15th chapter and the ninth verse. Amen. I turn it over to you, Pastor. Amen, amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord okay. has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. 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 I welcome all those that are visiting us on today to celebrate our 69th choir anniversary. We give God thanks for you for taking your time to come and fellowship with us today. Amen. Amen. And I welcome those that are listening via Zoom. And if there are any first time visitors, we welcome you with the love of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Okay. So the quick announcement I would like to make, um, I mentioned it on last Sunday for the bus trip to the New York Annual Conference. And that's Sunday, June 9th, 2024. We, we, are, we are trying to arrange a bus trip, which Newman Memorial is doing for us. And so the price per person is $40. And the bus will depart at Newman, Newman Memorial United Methodist Church, which is 257 Macon Street. 
uh, Brooklyn, New York, 11216, and the departing time is 7.30 a.m. sharp. 7.30 a.m. sharp. If you miss the bus, that's it. Amen? Because, you know, we're going to leave. They're leaving from the bus to go to Stanford Hotel in Connecticut for the annual conference. And so it would be nice that everyone will be able to come and be celebrated with a pastor on that day. Amen? Amen. 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 And Amen. so you may see Sister Tanya White. You know Tanya yes. White from Newman. She's the contact person. And they have the Zell information for us to Zell the $40 to Newman UMC257 at gmail.com. But you can see me afterwards to get more information on getting, you know, together to do the bus arrangement. Amen? Amen. 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 That's a good thing. 7.30 a.m. All right. Let us go and support our pastor. Amen. Amen. And at this time, we're going to pass the peace. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to do the birthdays. <laughs> you you going to do it this time? <laughs> You got the names right, and I do the song. Okay. <laughs> Amen. <coughs> you got it. Okay. Are there any birthdays for this month? I think we got some, received some names. We have some names, but is there anyone in the congregation? Birthday? No? Yes. I have. Okay, so the, the member's birthday in the month of May, Daniel Davis, Brother Asano, Miomi Asano, uh -huh. and Adolin Asano. <laughs> Amen. Amen. They'll be celebrating in the month of May their birthdays. Who? Adia. Adia. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes. Happy birthday. Amen. 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 All right. All right. You'll have to. She's going to sing up the <laughs> Amen. Amen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Daniel, brother Eric Merck, Asana, Naomi, Adeline, and Adia. Great having birthdays coming up. God has blessed them with one more year. We pray that he continues to bless them and give them the happiness and the answer all of their requests and their prayers that they ask for. Amen? Amen. Amen. We're going to continue now with our choir anniversary by having the history from Sister Jacqueline Jacobs. Good morning, grace and peace to Bethel. Congratulations on your 69th choir anniversary. You know, I love the choir anniversary. Wish Amen. I could be there to celebrate with you. But again, lots of love, lots of happiness, and I pray you all have a great time today. Amen. Thank you, Sister Jack. The choir anniversary history. The doors of Bethel opened in October 1955 by its founder, the late Reverend Amy Redfield Brown. 
She served Bethel as pastor for many years. Several pastors have followed since then, and currently Bethel is under the direction and spiritual guidance, spiritual leadership of Heidi, Pastor Heidi and Thomas. The choir, the choir, uh, the choir from its inception has brought music supporting the sermons to the con congregation and to others in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As we continue this journey and commitment to the Lord in music, our choir membership has changed. Some members relocated. At times, we may have gained a new member and then lost them due to personal reasons. Others have passed through this earthly life to their heavenly home. The church lost members, but their love and the joy of music lingers in our hearts always. In remembrance, we thank them all for their love and contribution. The past few years have been very challenging, but there's but here still we stand, not alone, but with God. We may be small in numbers, but with lots of love in our hearts for the Lord, and we hope to pass it on. Maybe not as a choir, but as a duet or a soloist. We have worked faithfully to bring joy to Bethel during worship service with a jubilant spirit. We give God the highest praise for our strength and always hallelujah, hallelujah. We continue to pray for God's grace so that we will grow stronger in faith, commitment, and numbers while he blesses us with the strength to do his work. We Regardless of the task, we thank God that Bethel was under the leadership and guidance of Pastor Heidi N. Thomas. She brings not only the word, but Bible study, which provides us with a new vision, guidance, and excitement for our Lord and Savior. Brother Nathaniel Wilson had been our choir director, our music director, but recently, as of April 28, 2024, he retired from Bethel, leaving a loving legacy. Brother Winston Swift continues to bless us as our percussionist. We thank both Brother Nathaniel Wilson and Brother Winston Swift for sharing their musical talents with us. And lastly, we extend our thanks to you for being here together on this musical and spiritual journey, celebrating Bethel's 69th choir anniversary with songs, music, and fellowship. We pray that God will continue to enrich all of us as we travel together as our love grows for each other, increasing our faith that we will continue to praise and glorify the Lord with music that will evangelize and touch us. Amen. Thank you so much, Bethel, for having a quiet anniversary today. Amen. Have a great day, you guys. Amen. We, we thank you, Sister Jackie. And now we're going to bring up Sister Geraldine Richards from Ebenezer Wesleyan Church around the corner. Amen. Good morning. You're going to, you're going to sing? Okay. I'm no stranger to Bethel, as I said previously. Um, I'm from Ebenezer, our pastor, Reverend Edward L. Jenkins. And um, we ask for prayer for him because he's been a little on the uh, not so well. Mm -hmm. 
so we just ask for prayers for our pastor today. But it's a, I'm so glad that Sister Olivia invited me. It's always good to, you know, come into your neighbor's home. Yes. And uh, it's sort of like a home away from home because we've been here so many times. But I just want to congratulate you for continuing to uplift the choir. I know many choirs today have challenges. Ours does also. That's why I have to get back, because we don't have a big um, group like we used to have. I mean, we would come here in the pews where everybody was squinching together. But you know, things do change. And we change with the times. And we can't blame it all on COVID, but that you know, was one of the catalysts for what's happening now. But uh, we are grateful for every day. We're thankful for our Savior and our Redeemer. He is one God. He's a living God. He serves us all. He loves us with an everlasting love. And if we continue to love each other, this would be such a better world, you know? So uh, to um, Reverend Heidi this morning, I thank you for inviting me and all who are here today. So bless his holy name. And I'm going to try to sing something here for you. I told Sister Olivia that I wasn't going to sing anything, but then our choir did this piece a couple of weeks ago, and as we were doing, I said, "Hey, I could do that one." So, uh, if you, um, I know Sister Olivia knows this piece. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. Jesus, blessed Savior, He's worthy to be praised. Amen. 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 So I'm going to try it solo. <laughs> Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, Jesus, blessed Savior, he's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun. Until the going down of the same, he's worthy, Jesus is worthy, he's worthy to be praised, glory, glory. Blessed Savior, he's worthy to be praised. For God is our rock, hope of salvation, a strong deliverer in him. Yeah. 
Amen. Yes, he's worthy to be praised. And we are going to continue, not to sound rushed, but we are going to continue with um, Brother Lucas from Bushwick United Methodist Church. Amen. What if Jesus had in mind that we should have peace, joy, love, mercy, contentment? One songwriter put it like this. Give me a clean heart so I may serve thee. Lord, fix my heart so that I may be used by thee. Though I'm not worthy of all your
Amen, Brother Lucas. Amen. Amen. As we have our Bible studies, you know, we're constantly talking about praising God and keeping our heart clean and, and putting God in our hearts and he will be with us. We thank you for that selection. Amen. 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 Always. Always. Amen. We are going to continue with our uh, anniversary segment now with two of our own very special people, Sister Soraya Wright and Sister Ilani Wright. Amen. Amen. We're going to hear from them again. Amen. Praise God. you need. Happy, happy choir anniversary to uh, Bethel, actually ha happy 69th anniversary to the choir. Um, I used to be a choir member and uh, <laughs> just to start say circumstances happen and so um, we are, here we are today. God, God, um, we have, uh, Soraya will be playing two selections and Leilani will be playing two selections. With God's grace, ladies and gentlemen. Amen. Soraya Wright. Amen. <laughs> All right.
Zariah played Michael Road, The Boat Ashore, and uh, Ode to Joy. So, joyful, joyful again. Praise the Lord. Okay. All right, Lonnie, you up. And Lonnie played uh, three melodies, and she will play one more for us.
young people hand here amen we can see the progress we can hear the progress amen amen god bless you god bless you amen so we're gonna move it right along and sister starks is up is she in the house <laughs> amen amen and I'm gonna ask Brother Lucas to come up, help me out a little bit with the backup. We haven't heard this song in a while, and since we are all praising God this morning, amen. Listen to me, and you'll do the back up. Okay.
praising God. I love to praise him. I love to worship him. I love the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Willa. But, you know, we didn't want to kind of rush and everything, but we have to say so long to our organist right now. And uh, I know, baby, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Won't be this way always. That's what you got to remember. Nothing stays the same. Amen. Amen. So we must excuse him. <laughs> Amen. 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 We're glad that you were here. Amen. We, we put everything there first so to go that way, and it worked out fine. Yes. Amen. God be the glory for the great things he's done. Amen. We're going to continue with the with a poem selection by Brother Zaire. Good morning, church. Good morning. The poem is called Take Time. Take time to think. It is the source of power. Take time to play. It is the secret of perpetual youth. Take time to read. It is the foundation of wisdom. Take time to pray. It is the greatest power on earth. Take time to love and to be loved. It is God's given privilege. Take time to be friendly. It's the road to happiness. Take time to laugh. It is the music of the soul. Take time to give. It's too short of a day to be selfish. Take time to work. It is a price for success. Take time to do charity. It is the key to heaven. Take time, take time. In the halls of grace where shadows fade, we gather close, hearts unafraid. Each note a whispered, each chord a sigh, and melodies we reach for the sky. With voices lifted, souls entwined, in sacrifice spaces, love divine. Through every verse, our spirits soar in harmony forevermore. So let us sing with all our soul, in reverence, our spirits one whole. For in the music, our truths consume. A symphony of grace in every tune. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Brother Zaire. I mean, he gave me a little surprise there. Yeah, he had a couple of things hanging out there I didn't know about. All right, praise God. Amen. Yes, we work with them. And we are influencing them and we don't even know it until we have times like this to hear what they have to say. Amen. Really, amen. Amen. So now at this time, we are going to have the ministry of the word and let us read it together. Amen. God of love, do not let us grow weary of living our lives according to the example of your child, Jesus. Loving one another is a challenge and a high calling. We do not want to play our friend and brother. Pour out upon us your spirit who reminds us that we bear Jesus' love and life within our very being, a powerful gift for our world. Out of this gift, may we bear the fruit of love. Amen. Amen. Minister of the Word has given us our instructions. Amen. And I'll be reading. The Old Testament will be coming from Psalms 98. The epistle reading will be coming from John. 1 John chapter 5, verses 1 through 6. Amen. Let us hear what God has to say to us through me. Amen. 
O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm has gotten him victory. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Make a joyful noise before the king. The Lord, let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who live in it. Let the floods clip, clap their hands. Let the hills sing together for joy at the presence of the Lord. He is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the people with equity. The word of the Lord for the people of God. Thanks be to God. We'll continue with the epistle reading, 1 John chapter 5, verses 1 through 6. Everyone who believes that Jesus is, is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the parents loves the child. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we obey his commandments, and his commandments are not a burdensome. For whatever is born of God conquers the world, and this is the victory that conquers the, conquers the world our faith. Who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came by water and blood. Jesus Christ, not with the water only, but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for Spirit is the truth. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us stand for the gospel. The gospel reading is coming from John chapter 15, verses 9 to 17. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one is greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I'm giving you these commands so that you may love one another. The word of God for the people of God. And now at this time, we will have the youth ministry moment with Sister Allison Shepherd. Amen. I invite all the youth to come up. That's your choice. Hi. Good morning. Good morning, Bethel. Good morning. 
Happy blessed and a choir anniversary. Amen. When we think about, I'm sorry. We're going to open in prayer. We ask you, Lord, to keep a holy hand on our youth. We pray for those in the sanctuary and those not present today. We pray that each thing done, everything heard, every song sung, will be connected to you, God, and, our, and your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. We are here to worship you in word, in song and deed, and most importantly, to praise together. Let the youth... Let the youth moment be a lesson to keep our teens and our children both, those in our presence and those that are not here. Let it be a time for them to grow in Christian faith and help them make a joyful noise to you, God, and to our Savior, your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So, do you have a favorite song? Y'all don't have to uh, <laughs> stand next to each other, at least. <laughs> Do you have a favorite song? What is it? Any song? <laughs> okay, if you have to think about it. Estelle? I always say, like with the pop songs now, I know Taylor, Taylor Swift just came out with a song and everybody was waiting for it to come out. And I said, if somebody walked up to me in the street right now and said, I'll give you a million dollars, if you could tell me one song, I would not have a million dollars because those songs aren't important to me. They're not part of my lifestyle. And if it's yours, it's okay. But a song should have a meaning for you. So do you have a song that's special to you? Like when you hear it, you, it makes you feel good, it makes you feel happy, it makes you feel part of something. You know? On the way over, uh, me and we were in the car and a song came on, and mommy said, Hold the Holy Spirit up in here. And it was such, it was a Christian song, and it just had a, such a good beat and a, and a good message. And, you know, you just could not help but either clap your hands or tap your feet to it. And then another song came on that I've heard many times here in Bethel. What was the name of that last song we were listening to, Ma? It's Christ the Solid Rock. And I heard that song many times, and the first time I heard it was right here in this church. And it used to be a part, often, Reverend Brown used to have it as part of the service. So it was a song that I knew. What does music how does music make you feel? Anybody want to share? Or how should it make you feel? Estelle, thank you. Um, music makes me feel happy okay. and excited. Can it make you feel sad? Can music make you feel sad? Yeah, there's a few songs. Well, especially it depends on the kind of service that you're attending. Because the same kind of music we have during service might not be the same kind of music anybody would play at a happy occasion that happens in church, like a wedding, or a sad occasion, like a funeral. So music does have meaning. It can make you feel a certain way. And some lyrics, especially in our Christian songs and hymns, they have a purpose. Listen to these words in Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. What is that song talking about? What part of, what does, is that song telling you? The grace can save you, anybody. It can, it's that the song is telling you that we all have a chance. To, be, to see Jesus. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer that calls me from a world of care and binds me to my Father's throne. What is, what is that part of the song telling you? 
What's the big word in there? Sweet hour of prayer. When you're praying, what are you doing? Talking to God. Talking to God. <laughs> and it should be sweet, and it should be out, and it should be something that you do. You know, most children say their prayers or they pray over their food, but you should talk to God often and say a prayer. And you can say it for yourself or for someone else. Listen to these words. I need thee every hour, most gracious Lord. No tender voice like thine can peace afford. I need thee every hour. What is that telling you? What, what kind of message is that sending, saying to you? Do you only need God when you're in trouble? Do you only need God when you're sad? No, you need him all the time. He should be part of your life all the time. So as you think about songs we sing here, as you think about songs you might hear your mom sing, your grandparents, especially church songs, you should find out what the purpose of this, this, that song is and how it's important to your Christian life. And when you're hearing pop songs, think about the words in those two because those can also have an influence on you. It could be positive or negative. So think about what the song is telling, the importance of it, okay? All right? Yes? <laughs> okay. So we're going to close out in prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, as our youth come before us, we want them to know that they can lead a Christian life and a secular life at the same time. But we, they need to know they have to put Christ first because Christ puts them first, Lord Jesus Christ. And let us always be here to be an example of, uh, uh, for our children, a support for our children, especially when they have questions or needs. Amen. Amen. Keep them safe through the week, Lord Jesus Christ, until we meet again. We are glad to have the fact, to know the fact that we have some young people in our congregation. And, and we continue to pray for not only just more young people, but also more members. Let us not forget, just because we are here, we may feel comfortable, but we would like for new members to be here as well. Amen? Amen. So we all can grow in Christ together. Amen. At this time, we have a selection coming via Zoom. Sister Patricia Lamar. Is she there? Hello. She's Good morning. There. Good morning, Bethel. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Amen. Praise God. My okay, heart. amen. And what a beautiful service, and thank you for inviting me. I have enjoyed it. I have been here from beginning to end. So thank you for having me. And I'd just like to share a little selection. I love I just want to tell you what I love you more than me. Oh, I love you. I love you. I 
so far that has been participating on the program and and we love you for that and then we are going to continue our service as we stand for the Apostle Creed uh, did you want to say something right now pastor before um, praise God praise God uh, we are having such a good time today amen amen we are having a wonderful time for our 69th choir anniversary amen 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 and thank you for everyone that have sung their hearts out today <laughs> we have heard you loud and clear and to god be the glory for the amen. great things he has done amen amen, amen. amen. so before i begin with the, the communion service i'm just going to lift up psalm 98 Amen. Which was read early on. I just want to lift that up again because we're celebrating our choir anniversary. Verse 1. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him victory. Here at Bethel, we are singing to the Lord a new song. And amidst the challenges that we have experienced, that was mentioned with Sister Jackie when she read the history, we have the victory. Amen? Amen. We have the victory because we have come this far by faith and we have done what we need to do in order for us to celebrate our choir anniversary. Amen? Amen. So, Bethel, I say congratulations to you, Sister Starks, for having this program still in spite of the many challenges that we had or going into having the choir anniversary today. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. 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 And so today's the first Sunday, and, and the, our first Sunday we have Holy Communion. And all are invited to partake in the sacrament of Holy Communion. The gospel that was read early on also speak about abiding in God's love. It was because of that ultimate sacrifice that God has for us. The ultimate love that he has for us when he laid down his life for us. 
when he died on the cross for all of our sins. And so as we are about to partake in the sacrament of Holy Communion, all are invited to, it doesn't matter what denomination you belong to, all are welcome to partake in the sacrament of Holy Communion. Amen? Amen. Let us now stand as we're going to do the Apostles' Creed. I believe, believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God the Father. And with the man to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. Christ our Lord invites to this table all who love him who earnestly repent of their sin and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sin before God and one another. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors, and we have not heard the cry of the needy. Forgive us, we pray. Free us for joyful obedience. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love towards us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. You formed us in your image and breathed into us the breath of life. When we turned away and our love failed, your love remained steadfast. You delivered us from captivity, made covenant to be our sovereign God, and spoke to us through the prophets. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join your unhanded hymn, Holy, 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 God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you and blessed is your son, Jesus Christ. Your spirit anointed him to preach good news to the poor, to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind to set at liberty those who are oppressed, and to announce that the time had come when you will save your people. He healed the sick, fed the hungry, and ate with sinners. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. When the Lord Jesus ascended, he promised to be with us always in the power of your word and Holy Spirit. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took the bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, 
gave it to his disciples and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. May them be for us the body and blood of Christ that we may be for the world the body of Christ redeemed by his blood. By your spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Now let us say the Lord's Prayer with confidence as children of the Most High God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to the temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Because there is one loaf, we who are many are one body, for we all partake in the one loaf. The bread which we break is a sharing in the body of Christ. The body of Christ which was broken for you, take and eat the body of Christ. The cup over which we give thanks is a sharing of the blood of Christ. The blood of Christ is a shed for you. Take and drink the blood of Christ. Drink all of it in remembrance of him. Amen. Let us say the prayer together. Eternal God. We give you thanks for this holy mystery in which you have given yourself to us. Grant that we may go into the world in the strength of your spirit to give ourselves for others in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Fill my cup, Lord, I lift it up, Lord. should feel very good we have just dined with our Lord and Savior yes. amen. amen amen and now we're gonna have our presentation of tithes and offering as we sing give thanks as we continue this service and we'll go on down the line amen happy anniversary to Bethel <laughs> <laughs> praise God praise God Give thanks. 
thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. And now let the rich say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for me. Amen. Let us stand, please. Amen. Please stand, everyone. Praise God from whom all blessings joy we offer our gifts this day as we reflect on the wisdom of your word jesus urges us to hold on to him to stay connected to his example presence and the fulfillment he brings he reveals that our joy finds completeness when it is woven into our divine joy help us abide in him through love obeying his commandment to love one another in acts of service healing selfless generosity may our joy be sustained a shared and everlasting gift from the source of all joy in jesus christ's name we pray amen amen amen, amen. amen. pastor did you have any oh you may be seated please be seated I guess I cannot say thank you enough. First, I'll start with our young people who presented this morning. Amen. Let us give them a round. They did such a marvelous job. You know, we have to give God praise for their willingness to want to learn their instruments and to want to come and play with them for us. Amen. 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 Brother Lucas. Thank you for your solo. Thank you for joining in with me. I'm going to praise him. I want to praise him. Amen. Amen. I love to sing too. Amen. So you and I are together here. Right. Right. Amen. They truly did. Amen. 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 I thank everyone. I thank the visitors. She had to leave, Sister Geraldine Richards. She had to sing in her choir this morning in their churches right across the way. So she had to go, but we thank her for her presence anyway, for being with us and to give us that song, Praise Him, Praise Him. So we all were on one accord today, singing and praying because we all wanted to praise our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is really taking us through this turmoil and whatever is going on in this world right now. We are not part of it, but we are praying for peace. 
We are praying to love one another. We are praying for people who are sick to feel better, or get well, and all in all, whatever is going on, we ask God to let his will be done. Amen. Amen. So I thank the ushers back there, Sister Langley, monitoring everything. Thank you so much. And our visitor. Yes, we, we didn't acknowledge. Can you please stand and yes. introduce yourself? To I was coming Amen. around. Amen. Yes. Amen. We are blessed that you stopped in this door because there's a couple other doors you could have stopped in. But we are blessed that you are here with us and hope that you remain and stay with us for lunch and maybe we could chat with you later. We have a great lunch downstairs. We spoil people when they come here. <laughs> <laughs> we love to do that. And um, I'm just saying, I don't want to miss anyone. We thank our musicians and Brother Wheeler for being here for the first part for us to play and everything, and Brother Winston, Jackie online with the history, beautifully read, and Brother Zaire and his poems and his surprise as well. Thank you. And Patricia Pastor, Lamar, Sister Sister Lamar. Yeah, yeah. yes, Patricia, Patricia Lamar, Lamar yeah. for, for her song. And we were going to have another song, and there are some more music that's coming up, but they're going to be part of the Friends and Family and International Day. So people are calling me up wanting to sing. That's a great thing. Amen. Amen. So they're going to be here for you. So there's some more surprises that will be coming up. And I just thank God for all of you that were here to hear what we had to say today. Amen. Amen. Am I missing anybody? Please don't feel shy. I didn't miss any birthdays. Everybody's my, here. My, my Sister Doreen? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Doreen. I did not have her name. Amen. So happy birthday, Sister Doreen Swift. She was going to be with us today with a liturgical dance, but she had to sing at her church as well because it's first Sunday, so, mm -hmm. you know, that had to be. Well, thank you. All right, give them all to me at one time. <laughs> okay, well, we have to put them on our list because we had that part earlier today, but please give them all happy birthday wishes from all of us. Okay, all right, thank you. Pastor? Amen, amen. Beautiful. And now, Let's give God all the. Oh, I forgot. Our media. Yes, 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 yes. Our media person, Portia, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Let me see your smile. <laughs> amen. Amen. Yes. I'm just saying, let's give God all the honor, I'm, glory, and praise for this day. Yes. And the rejoicing and the beautiful singing and for a wonderful, wonderful program that we had on today. Amen. We give God thanks and praise. And Sister Starks already thanked everybody, so I don't have to call any names. <laughs> amen. To thank everyone again i just thank you thank you thank you um i noticed though i just want to make sure i don't i saw the name when we we're on zoom reverend anita was on so i just want to acknowledge her she's still on i would like to acknowledge her and and to god be the glory for you and sister patricia i always like to hear her sing and i'm just grateful for the the presence of the visitor and for God to lead you into our sanctuary here today. Amen. 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 One more thing um, on next Sunday, the next two Sundays, I will be away. I'll be traveling to England on the, the Wesleyan. 
<laughs> the Wesleyan tour. And so, yes, those the next two Sundays, we have Vanessa will be preaching for Mother's Day, and Reverend Agler will be preaching for Pentecostal Sunday. Sunday. Amen. And so I know you're going to have a wonderful time in the Lord. But Amen. the next two Sundays, the pastor will be on a little, or a little break. Amen. Amen. And Amen. just continue to keep me and my family in your prayers. Amen. 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 And thank Amen. you again, Sister Starks, for having this service here for the choir anniversary to continue. You know, we have to keep on pressing on, right? Yes. We've got to yes. press on and give God the glory. Amen. 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 We are going to stand and sing our closing hymn, My Hope is Built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. Amen. Amen. And Brother Winston will continue to lead us in the drums. Amen. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all of the ground is sinking sand, all of the ground. Darkness veils his lovely face. I trust on him, unchanging grace. In every eye and stormy veil, my ankles within the bell. still sit for some quiet meditation. A little drum roll.